G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, a little sneaky midweek video. I know, it's breaking the rules, but uh, that's what I'm all about. No, I'm not. Yeah, so I was going back through the archives with my computer and found um, a few videos that I hadn't seen in a long time, which are backyard hangers. Now, me and my mates uh, used to get around backyard hangers back in the day, so I thought I'd bring them to life, put them on YouTube and uh, show you a few little highlights from our backyard antics so I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back soon. So where backyard hangers started from me and my friend Cal started throwing a footy up onto a punching bag which was placed in a bucket which was surrounded by three inflatable Mitre 10 bags so we'd launch off the punching bag in the bucket and fly onto the bags and then it changed when I got a specky bag for my birthday so we went off the specky bag into the bags, which then changed from going off the specky bag into each other, which then went to just taking it over each other. And we do this every day after school for a few weeks in a row. It was, um, it was so much fun. I don't know how we didn't get injured more, but uh, yeah, the only two occasions where I got injured certainly were in these two next clips, where basically the way I land on the inflatable Mitre 10 uh, bag sort of changes the way my body falls and my heel on both occasions ends up touching the back of my shoulder which you can see here it just I, it's not a real comfortable thing to be honest so yeah this one's the worst one i absolutely launch myself fall and then yeah my heel touches the back of my shoulder and it like it winded me it was really weird but we were pretty lucky not to get more hurt now I'm going to show you a few that I think are very worthy of a mention. Some absolute screamers. Um, yeah, take a look. I absolutely love taking this one. I felt like Brendan Goddard at the time, jumping over Cal's head. Pretty lucky to take that one. Just a little bit of launch for McDonald. This one's an absolute cracker. Aussie Cookson. He gets up there. Will he ever come down? He just flies. He sits on Cal for about 20 minutes. As a bacon deluxe burger meal and then finally comes down. This is one from Cal I, I really rate. Just, I don't know, that spec bag was as tall as us at the time and he gets his foot on it. And at that stage, looks like he's going to die. Lands quite safely. Well, what a flog to say Andrew Walker on the way down, but I just, I felt like I was surfing Cal, so that was probably my highest one I've ever done, but in the backyard. Cookson again. I just look, look at him. Look at him throw his noggin at it. He absolutely smashed his head on the ground, but he just loves it. And then Van Gamp's dropping the mark of the century. Liam. His foot is on. Oh, I just can't believe how high he gets. Look at the height. He sits up there. That would have been an absolute screamer. So going through the archives, there was something that I wasn't quite impressed with, and it's a little bit cringy, so I thought I'd show you guys as well what 14, 15 year old Caden McDonald uh, was like. This is gonna be all right. Oh, 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 that's cringy. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not on. But here is one of the biggest marks probably we ever took. Um, it was complete accident and that's what makes it so good. And uh, yeah, here it is. So all afternoon we were absolutely throwing our bodies into these bags. And uh, yeah, it was quite tiring, time after time, time after time, hoping for something bigger and better, and then all of a sudden Cal throws his body at it, gets his perfect sit, and absolutely eats it. I just love how his leg gets caught by the bag. He, he sits on the bag, they're very flimsy sort of things, and he sits on it for a second before crashing to the ground and I say it's the biggest mark I've ever seen. It was an absolute clunk. Alright guys, thank you for watching my sneaky midweek video. Uh, a little bit cheeky and I don't mind it. Um, obviously I'm trying to write a song for this week. Having a little bit of trouble with it so hopefully I can get it out by Thursday otherwise I'll make something up to do by then. Um, if you want to give me any suggestions of topics to put into the AFL song, uh, send them down below in the comment section. Have a subscribe as well if you're new. Some of my videos I'm getting 5,000 views, which is you know amazing, but I've only got 800 subscribers. So what are the rest of you doing? Hop on board, we'll have a little bit of fun, 
follow me on my socials, and yeah, I'll see you Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.